Hello and welcome to another Pro Tunes video. Here I will teach you how to create what I call a second gear tune which will launch you off in second gear. You may be thinking why would I want to launch in second gear? Well second gear tunes have a number of advantages over a standard first gear tune. The most obvious is for an easy consistent start to the game. Why would you want a consistent start? Well if you ever try to climb to rank 5000 in Pro League to reach Hall of Fame status, you will find that as you rank higher, even a second place finish will knock your ranks down. So any finish other than first will hurt your ranks. And as you climb closer to 5,000, one bad launch could really ruin your day. Let's get started. We're going to use the Austin Martin 177. This is a level 6, well, right now it's a level 6 car, but it performs well in level 5 and 6. So. Let's get to the tune. This is a stock setting right now. I have it at stock. Now, the way I like to start off my second gear two, I turn my final drive all the way back down to one. What this does when I start the when I start to launch in second gear, when the needle wherever it falls, it's gonna stay. It's gonna stay put. So it makes it real easy to determine at what RPM it's launching at, or or it's falling at, or it's landing at. So here, in, here, having a look at what it does. There, it landed about at 5,100 RPM. Now, had I not done that, if the final drive was left at stock or higher, here's what's gonna. Here is what it would look like. And as you see, the needle landed at obviously 5100 because we already knew that. But it started falling back, then going up as it as it got traction. Well, that just makes it a little bit harder to tell. So that's the only reason why I moved my gear. I mean, my final drive back to one. Now, now we want wherever you want to <clears throat> launch. Because it landed at 51, say for example you wanted to launch at 6,000, let's just use 6,000 as an example. If I wanted to launch this gear, if I wanted to launch this car at 6,000 RPM, and the, t the stock tune landed at 5,100, I'm going to need to raise that. And in order to raise that, here's what I need to do. These two gears, the first and second gear, they will need to be closer together. The further apart they are, the lower the lower in RPM you will launch at closer together the higher in RPM you will launch at lower by first gear or raise my second gear the choice is yours so I'm just, I'm just going to raise my second gear whoops let's let's raise it to a few hundred and and see what happens Press the gas, slide down on top of the shifter, and watch the start. Boom, right there. Automatically, I got lucky and it landed right at 6,000 where we said we were going to try it. So, first gear was at 3150. Second gear was at is 2.292. And <laughs> I just got lucky and it landed right there. So now, what you would do... Well, first, l let me show you um, that if you were to move, let me show you that if you were to move your gears further apart, like, watch me move my first gear higher, it's going to land much lower on the, uh, on the meter. See, as you saw, it went back to all the way to 4,000. That's the, that's what I wanted to show you. Closer are together, the higher it will launch. Further apart they are, the lower it's gonna launch. So let's go back. Okay, and we noticed that at about two point two nine two. That's about at six thousand. Okay. Now that we got our, now that we have our launch at 6,000, 
and and that's just a number I chose just off the top of my head for whatever reason um, what you would do now to finish your second gear launch is you need to raise your final drive because we we said before that we had left it at one that's gonna be a pretty slow start so we're gonna have to start raising it and you want to raise it so that you get just your wheel slip animation just starts and that's gonna give you the optimal starting for a second gear tune so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start raising it let's raise it at a thousand at a time and see what happens Still no slip, so we're gonna raise it a little more. All right, as you see, I saw it started slipping, but the needle started going backwards. If the needle started going backwards, you have way too much excessive slip, and your 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 power is just not getting to the ground. It's your wheels are just spinning. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to have to lower our final drive. So let's lower a little bit. Half of that and see what happens. As you see there, there's no slip at all. But as we said, to, to get a perfect second gear launch going for you, you want a little bit of slip. So I'm going to start raising it some. And I'm just gonna get take these numbers in half and half until I until I get the right launch, the right final drive with the first and second gear. Let's go a little more. We're getting closer. Not quite there. Almost there went just a little bit too far, so let's backtrack a, a little bit. A little bit more. Almost there. The second gear, a second gear launch, you will want to tune your final drive to the thousands. Let's just keep dropping it by 100 because we're really close. Okay, it did slip there, so let's let's start doing it by the thousands. There we go. Let's see if at 3.8 if it still has a slip animation. Perfect. And the slip animation is that blinking uh, car right there with the squiggly wheels. So now that that I have it, um, whoops! Now that I have my final drive, my first gear, and my second gear at the perfect launch at what I want, which is right when the when I tune to the thousands, right when I from at 2.537 you get no wheel slip animation at 2.538 you get wheel slip animation and that's where you want to launch in second gear and what I like to do is now that I have the final first and second um, already set I like to sit, go in my presets and I like to save it so let's uh, show you again what you would want um, for your second gear launch, how you would want it to look. Pay attention, you want to see the wheel slip um, animation right here. You want to you want to see that when you launch the needle doesn't go back. If it goes if 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 it drops and then climbs, you're gonna you know that that is excessive wheel spin. You have way too much. So, you want it to look just like this. If the needle doesn't go back, you have wheel slip animation, and then you start going. That's how you want, that's exactly what you want for a second gear tune. Now, you don't want it to look like this. I'm close, but if you see no wheel slip animation, watch this. 
means you're gonna have to raise your final drive. And this right here. See as your needle went back and then climbed? Way too much. Way too much acceleration. You need to lower your final drive to uh, to fix your uh, to fix that. So that's how you would start a second gear tune. For great free tunes, check out Drag Racing Light Tunes available on the Android Market. A link will be in the video description. For a more in-depth, detailed explanation of how to tune, check out Drag Racing Pro Tunes. You will also get great tips and information on fine tuning. On top of that, you're going to get some of the best tunes available. You can also add me to your friends list if you would like to race my goals or compare your tunes with Pro Tunes. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this video helped you out and I'll see you guys in game on Pro League or in Betsa Race.